What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Saturday tournament, and this time around, we actually cover a Mega Scissor deck. Now, next weekend is actually Fort Wayne Regionals, and I think Mega Scissor is actually becoming one of my favorite decks to play for that weekend. Um, so let's look at the decks that are really popular coming to that weekend. Everybody's been hyping Mega Guardi. Uh, Darker Giratina is really strong still. You got like Greninja, Volcanian a little bit, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think the biggest one that's coming this weekend is Mega Gardevoir. Like pretty much everybody's hyping Mega Gardevoir. Mega Claws is good as well, and I think Mega Scissor can actually take down this, the multiple multiple multi of these decks. I think the one that it does struggle with obviously is Volcanian. And someone against Greninja, but we do play two Hex Maniacs now. I mean, this does is actually going to focus on a non Garboder version, which I know is very strange. You see these lists, they have Garboder in them. We're actually not going to play that. And I actually want to give credit to John Collier, one of my, my best friend. Um, he's actually been playing this deck for a really long time, and he's played with multiple LCs. I can't remember how he's done like decently well of all of them, and he's been playing this Mega Scissor deck without uh, Garboder. Instead, he plays like two Hex Maniac, like the Mega Quasar list. Because because the only deck you really need this for is for Giratina, because Giratina, you, can, you know, you have to discard the, uh, you have to be able to attack it because of its ability, making where Megas can't hurt it. You have to use it against Greninja, because that giant water shuriken, and Volcania, but Volcania is such a bad matchup, you just take the loss. Greninja is like 50-50, it, it comes down to like how quick you can get set up, and can you constantly, like you're not going to one-shot them, so you have to like get very lucky, hope to hit Hex Maniacs constantly, and then maybe you can squeak out a win that way, but it's pretty bad. I mean, you could play Garboder and then maybe beat that, but I don't think Greninja is going to be that, play like played that much. Uh, I know it didn't make top 8 at all, and like any of the standard regionals and match for sure so i don't think greninja is going to have that big of showing now it could have a big showing don't get me wrong but i really think the most popular decks are going to be like mega gardevoir uh darker giratina which you could beat both of those decks pretty easily i know people are playing mega quasa and yeah, I think you have a really good shot with stack Mega Mewtwo as well. That's another one that'd be big. Uh, Plume Box is another deck. Uh, Vile Plume with like different attackers with like Jolteon, uh, Reg Ice, and all that stuff. And I think this deck can take down all of those decks fairly easily. And like I said, it does struggle against Volcania. It's pretty much an auto loss. But Volcania loses to a lot of stuff in the format right now, like Garb decks and stuff like that. And uh, Greninja, which I don't think Greninja is going to be played that much because there's so much Garb in the format, which is why I do think Mega Scissor is a great call. But let's go to the deck and let's see what's it about if you've never seen Mega Scissor before. Mega Scissor, he has 220 HP, so a little bit of, I mean, of course, 220 is a lot. It's not 210 like a lot of these other Pokemon, but Iron Crusher does 120, and that's the max damage we're going to do. We're never going to take a uh, one shot unless we're hitting for weakness, but Iron Crusher, you may discard a special energy attached to your opponent's act Pokemon or Stadium card to play. Now, this is great. You can discard Stadium cards or discard a special energy, which we know decks play like Double double Dragon, DCE, Splash Energy, uh, and I think that's pretty much it. But like almost every single deck has a DCE or Double Dragon in it. I mean, I think the only ones that don't really have any special energies is like Volcanion. And that's pretty much it. And then other Mega Scissors deck, which some are playing Shield Energy. I'm actually opting not to play Shield Energy. I don't like Shield Energy just because you can't Mega Turbo and you can't attach it to Shamans. But Mega Scissor is really good at discarding those special energies, which almost every deck plays, which can like drastically shut down, shut down players or slow down players. I guess Mega Gardevoir doesn't play. Uh, energies as well, but the week to vary, so we don't care about Mega Gardevoir too much. But uh, we do have the other Scissor as well. I mean, we had to have a Scissor in deck, right? So Scissor is still winning 20. Any damage done to by tax concern is reduced by 20. And Gale Thrust does 50. And this Pokemon's on your bench, it became active. This attack does 60 more damage. So 110 if you do switch out to it, which is a you know, it's an okay attack, but definitely the Iron Crusher is what we're trying to do here. Now, one hoop, of course, use Scoundry, search for a 3 EX Pokemon, two Shaman to help set up, and one Cobalion. Now, Cobalion. Valiant's great and has quick guard, makes your base Pokemon cannot uh, hurt him next turn. Or prevent all damage on you, yeah, base Pokemon cannot hurt this guy. And it, But you can't use it again uh, your next turn. But still, it's really cool. Turn one quick guard, make your opponent cannot hurt this Gabalion. Alright, now we do play, uh, the main thing we play this is for Revenge Blast. 
This tech does 30 more damage for each prize card your opponent has taken. So, I mean, you could, like, you're, like I said earlier, you're never going to take a one shot with Mega Scizor. So, you could, like, hit somebody from 120 and then next turn Revenge Blast them for, the, for that knockout if needed. If they do switch, you can later on Revenge Blast them for a knockout, which is pretty cool. If they have to take, like, four prize cards, you do 3, 6, 9, 12, 150 damage. Pretty much knock out anybody who play with that additional 120. And that's all the Pokemon we're going to play in this deck. Now, we play four Crush Namer, uh, Football Coin, if it has discard energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Now, combining this with Mega Scizor, we're basically playing like a huge energy denial deck, which is really strong in this format right now, because there's, there's like, the only really way you can energy accelerate is through Max Elixirs and Mega Turbo, uh, which you do have to get fair lucky with the Mega Tur with the Max Elixirs, because you have to hit one of the top six, and Mega Turbo, you, you have to hit it from the uh, discard pile, which, I mean, if you play the discard pile, then, then use Mega Turbo, put it back on the active, you're basically like making that Mega Turbo being wasted, which is great. And we play two enhanced terms as well. I cannot stress how great like, uh, you know, how great special energies are. They're played almost everywhere. Uh, so two special energies, and two enhanced hammers, and four crush hammers. Now the next place, it does play two mega turbo. So that way you can help get a mega scissor out of nowhere. Like, let's say you have no energies on the field. You have a mega scissor. You can mega turbo attach energy and get that uh, iron crusher off because you only need those two energies. Of course, one super rod, shuffle back to three Pokemon or energies into your deck. Four trainers, well, four VS, four twelve, well, four VS. Of course, the four constant, like the best four state, like the best stable cards you can have. Those best three are always played. Now we played two Hex Maniac. Like I said, this is definitely for like your Ninja, uh, maybe Vol Volcania, but it's still really bad. You can play it against. Um, Viaplume if needed, but really you don't need Hex Maniac too much. Oh, Raj is really good at shutdown abilities. You can Hex, make your opponent can't play Shamans, can't do anything next turn, which could shut them down. And we play two of those, like I said, to help us out against Giratina, which is going to be played a lot, and we need a way to beat that guy. Now we do have Hand Stamp, which could like discard the Double Dragons and make it where they can't attack us, which is great as well. I don't know. Overall, it's, it's really cool to, for sure. Uh, but two Light Center. Uh, I think two Light Center, almost every deck is needed. Two in, one Ranger uh, to remove all effects of attacks on each player's Pokemon and his or her Pokemon. Because what you can do with Ranger is like Ranger. Uh, let's say you're playing against like Bob and Box, right? Now, Jolteon uh, makes it where you can, like, okay, so the thing with Jolteon and Bob and Box is you can still discard the energies, but you cannot discard a Regi's energy because it says all effects and damage. Uh, so if you Ranger, you, then you can knock it out because it's weak to metal. So you can Ranger, knock out Red Eyes. Jolteon is not too scary, like I said, because you can discard special energies, you just can't do damage to it. Alright, so four Sycamore, discard your hand, draw seven new cards. And uh, Ranger could help you against Chaos well as well, make where you can put down like your tools and stuff if needed. Uh, but one Team Flarga, discard energy attached to your opponent's act Pokemon. Just want to get that guaranteed if needed. If we have Via Seeker for Team Flarga, we can play that. Discard energy off the active. Now we do play two Parallel City. Just so we reduce our side down to 30 or 3 bench or our opponent's side as well. Depending on the situation, uh, Parallels does shut down a bunch of decks like Rainbow Road and, uh, not a bunch, but two main ones is Rainbow Road and uh, Mega Quaza. You can Parallel City them, put them down a low, low deck size, I mean, low bench size, which is fantastic. Uh, but obviously, like putting your opponent down to three bench size it could be a bad thing because now Shaman's almost in every deck. If you put it early, your opponent has to really get considered putting down the Shaman or not, which could mess them up if they do have on the bench and can't discard the stadium. Now, two Flowstones, still for the Hoopa, but you notice there's no switch cards, uh, nothing really. The only two Pokemon that really need Flowstone are Hoopa and the Gabalion. This guy has two True Calls, and the Hoopa does have a three, or two as well. Um, so what you could do if you want to, I know John was saying cut a Flowstone for Escape Room, but I personally don't like that play. I would probably play another Olympia, but it's up to you to decide what you want to play. But three Spirit Links, so your trainer does not end when you Mega Evolve, and nine Metal Energy. You can probably go down to eight if needed, because remember, Mega Scissor only those two energies. And there we go, guys. There's a Mega Scissors deck. Once again, we're not playing Garboder. Like I said, the only decks you really need it for is, is Greninja and Volcanion. Where, well, you already lose Volcanion regardless, so that doesn't matter. Uh, the main one is Greninja, and that becomes iffy iffy. Like I said, it depends how quickly you take knockouts. You can knock out. The Greninja's the Froakies fairly easily. You have Hex Maniac. You can two-shot the Greninja breaks. And things become very weird. But maybe you'll be able to pull it out. It's still a rough matchup for sure. Especially since your Crush Chambers do not work. Because you're going to keep Moonlight Slash to put the energies back into your hand. But guys, if you don't know, set it to rent. 
is where I record the introduction in three games with this deck and see can we become the Saturday tournament winner. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed this deck introduction. Uh, there will be three three more rounds of this. Uh, they are both an hour apart, so if you're watching this video live, you'll see in, in, in the next hour uh, the video get posted, and the next hour the video get posted, and the next hour the video get posted. So that way everybody just gets swamped at once and they don't get mixed up. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this deck break, breakdown. I think this deck is really strong, like I said, for Fort Wayne. Make sure you test it out. You could still play Guard Border, but actually we're not going to play it. Uh, I think it is better without it. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video of round number one of the Saturday tournament. All right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.